Hello! So, I have tried to make this video, I think maybe 10 times, and I know that it's going to work right now. You know how I know it's going to work? It's going to work because I'm not wearing any eyeshadow, and I'm wearing my pajamas, so Murphy's Law, it's got to work, right? <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try. This is the third day of me trying to film this and I really hope it works. So what happened was the first time I ran out of memory on my cell phone, my husband fixed that problem for me. And then I re, I, and that was the first day. The second day I refilmed it a couple times and it just kept um, like being upside down and with like black lines on the sides and I couldn't figure out in the editing process how to fix that. So anywho, this is where we are. If you are watching this video, it means it worked. <laughs> And if it worked, you know that I am somewhere doing the happy dance, which looks something like this. I really hope this works. If it does, then please, if it does, you don't have to like and subscribe to my channel if this works. But if you, this is Life in Envelopes and I am Jennifer Bleacher. This channel is all about budgeting, paying off debt, and retiring early. So if you, if those are topics that you are also interested in, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone. So I have tried filming this many times as I told you where I write everything out with you, but I thought this time I would just go over what I have already written out. This is like the 10th time that I wrote it out. So let's just go over the numbers. This is for my second paycheck in February. I get paid on the 20th. I'm estimating that I will be paid approximately $3,894. This is our big check of the month. And then we also had a rollover of $236 from the month before. And where I got that number from was this section of our budget. This section of the budget worksheet is actually designated for paying off extra debt. But what I wanted to do, this is the first time I'm trying to do my bills we uh paycheck to paycheck versus like one one spreadsheet for the whole month so i didn't know if i would have enough money at the end of the month to cover everything so to be safe i didn't want to pay off any extra debt or put this towards my um one thousand dollar what's it called one thousand dollar emergency fund um until i knew that i did not need this to, to pay bills in the next half of the month. So that's where I got that amount, the rollover amount. So let's look at this first section. This is my fixed expenses during the month. So what that means is the amount on here doesn't change much from month to month. Gas is probably the most variable expense on here. And the reason why I have it in this section instead of down below in my cash envelope section is because it, um, it's very cold here, <laughs> to be honest, it's very cold here. For example, today it's negative 36 degrees with the wind chill. It's so cold that we don't have school, which is very rare. We rarely cancel school because of cold weather. If we have, if our, for example, if our, if our um, temperature at recess time is one degree or warmer, we still go outside with our kids. So we are used to cold temperatures, but negative 36 is very, very cold but it's uncomfortable to be outside. So that's why we, we um, pump at, we use our car to pump gas instead of running in to pay just to save us from being outside any longer than we absolutely have to be. So here are our fixed expenses and let's go over them quickly. Netflix is $14. Our car payment is $4.45. We, we have two loans. These are debt consolidation loans, credit card debt consolidation loans. A couple, a few months ago in October, we were able to make our minimum payment due to our credit cards and it made consolidating necessary. I know a lot of financial experts tell you not to do that, but we just felt like it was absolutely necessary for us in order just to pay our bills. Um, I get, I'm gonna get gas twice here. Here's my, our second credit card consolidation loan for $665. We have a student loan for $269, our car insurance for $168, our cell phones for $137, our mortgage for $1320, and our garbage service for $19. When I added all this up together, that gave us a bill total of $3,453. So I took that away from our total income, it left me with $677. And that's where 
I that's where I was able to move forward with the cash envelopes and the sinking funds and everything extra from there. So let's take a look at that now. Let's start with the cash envelopes. Now I have already made another video where, I'm, where I withdrew the money for the cash envelopes and the sinking funds from my bank and we stuffed the envelopes together. I will put that, a link to that video in the description box below. I will also put a link to this Paycheck, paycheck Bill Tracker Spreadsheet, which was created by the Budget Mom. I'll put a link to um, her website below as well. Okay, so we withdrew $150 for one week of groceries. We had $150 left in our grocery envelope, so we only needed to pull out one more week. Um, we had two weeks worth of spending money. My husband and I each get $20 a week for spending money, so that's $40 a week times two weeks is $80. Together, that equaled $230, and when we took that away from our $677, we were left with $447 to work with for everything else in our budget. Let's take a look at our sinking funds. Here are all the sinking funds that I have decided to um, save money for throughout the year. The difference between sinking funds and cash envelopes is that sinking funds, the amount of money that I put in each month builds up month after month after month until I need to use it, where the, the cash envelopes, uh, the plan is that it could all be spent that month and like for groceries, for example, it usually is all spent for that month, and um, I don't plan on it building up and becoming more and more the way I do with the sinking funds. So here are the funds that I have decided are going to be my sinking funds for the year 2020. We have a Christmas sinking fund, birthdays, anniversary, self-care, which is mostly um, just for haircuts for anybody in the family that wants one. <laughs> like I said before, we don't get a lot of haircuts. Uh, car maintenance, back to school, uh, our annual vet bill. Amazon and our car registration. So all together that equals $123. I did have to increase a little bit to the vet and the car registration because I realized my initial calculations were off on those and if I took the total amount that I wanted to spend at a total amount that I wanted for each of those expenses over a 12 month period I need to add a few three more dollars per paycheck to the vet and five more dollars for the car registration per paycheck. So that came to 123, so 447, and I in subtracting when I subtract 123, I was left with 324, which is cool. That gives me something to work with at the end of the month. So let's take a look and see where that extra money is going to go. First of all, because this is only our second month of doing this, we still have some unbudgeted expenses that I know are going to come up because we're not a hundred percent yet, and life just happens. So there's a few things that are going to come up. We don't plan for those. I don't have a budgeted amount for that. So, well, I know when the actual amount, we'll have to have an actual amount at the end of the month when we actually know how much that cost. But if there were zero unbudgeted expenses, then we would be left with 324 at the end of the month. So 324. Now, unfortunately, it is time for to register my car. I've only been saving for two months. So obviously I don't have enough to cover the entire cost of the car registration. So I took the cost of the registration, I subtracted what I had in my cash envelope for my car registration, and what, I need, what I'm left with having to pay is $315. So when I take that away from the $324, that leaves me with $9, which I will be putting towards my emergency fund. And I know $9 does not sound like much, but I think that it's important for me to spend with a zero budget and for me to have a place at the end of the month for all of my money. So that is the plan. I'm really looking forward to February being over just so that I can go in and plug in the actual numbers and see how this all works out. So that will be coming in a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, maybe the 10th time is a charm and this video is actually gonna go up, fingers crossed. Um, I will see you guys again next time. Thanks everyone, bye.